Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. For today's card I want to try and make a one layer card, very simple and with minimum supplies. I'm gonna be using this stamp set by W plus 9 and this is called Pretty Little Peonies. When I purchased this set I had no idea that there were two peonies set and one is small and one is bigger. So I got this one but I was convinced that I got the other one that it's bigger. So when I first saw it I was a bit um, scared that I uh, wouldn't be able to use these um, tiny images here but in the end I gave it a shot and I have to say that I really really like it and I will be creating a wreath today with this set and we'll try to use some fall inspired colors I have these uh, Tonic Studios circle dies and I'm gonna be tracing one of these circles and I already know that this is the size that fits my A2 size card so I'm trying to center this onto my card and trace the outside edge. As you can see this is a stamp layering set and you have different stamps for the solid images as well as for the outlines you have these three bigger flowers here and other two sets of flowers here there are also some others that are pretty small and they they are all placed on this uh, sheet pretty much close to each other so you can see which one goes with the other i'm gonna be stamping this bottom flower but i will be using only the solid stamp and the next detailed one for my base flower I am using a melon and this is a light orange from Simon and I'm just trying to scatter these flowers and fill in my wreath For the next layer I am using sunshine, a bit of a darker orange and these stems are so easy to align as you can see they have this uh, scallop edge that you can align with this with the edge of the solid stamp and even if you don't get a perfect alignment the, these flowers will still look great and I'm not even um, stressing how to align these because as I said they will just come out beautifully we'll be adding some leaves and I am using this solid stamp leaf and the catkin this is one of my favorite green inks and I'm not gonna be inking all the, the leaves just the top side and a bit of the, the tail so I don't have to make any masking And if I feel that I touch the tail too much, I just uh, wipe it off with my fingers. Now I'm going to be stamping some of these berries that are in the set. And they have several layering stems also, but I will be using only the stem, the stem for the stem and for the solid berries because I don't have that many inks. For the stem I am using khaki from Simon. And even if this one is oriented the other way, I will try to balance everything while I'm continuing stamping. For the berries I am using Raspberry Gem from Hero Arts. And I never thought I would be able to align these small berries 
on their stem but they are just so easy you don't even have to think about it it's just um, place them on top and stamp as they will come out uh, perfectly anyway and I want to stamp some leaves in a different green and I'm using olive and the outlines for these leaves but I will not be uh, stamp the outlines on my leaves just something extra I want to add some more leaves and I'm searching from, for some small ones and I think I'm going to be using these ones and this, this same um, dark green And even if this it's not perfectly stamped it's to me it still looks like a very nice wreath the only thing i think i will change is the second color that i've used for my flowers here because now that those inks are dry there is not such a, a big difference between the layers so i'm gonna try and search for a darker orange and i'm gonna be using this um this orange peel from simon and hopefully it will dry much darker than the other one I'm gonna be stamping the centers for my flowers and I've picked this uh, the shiny stamp right here and I'll be using the rich cocoa memento ink this is a brown ink and next I am using a tiny tiny stamp here it's this kind of a dot and it's pretty long I don't know if you can see it here how pointy this is so it's a bit uh, bendy when you stamp it's uh, not gonna come out like a perfect dot but um, I'll be using it just to fill in a bit some of the areas. And if you see my card here that is stained, that's my nail polish. And that's the main reason I don't usually do my nails <laughs> for my videos because I get the, the nail polish all over all the time. And I'm gonna try and use an eraser to wipe away that uh, nail polish there. This will work, and actually it doesn't. No. So in the end I just grabbed a file and I'm gently rubbing over the dark spots that I have. And you can see that I was able to remove that line and I'm just so happy. <laughs> I just freaked out when I saw that line of nail polish onto my card I said oh my god I just have to start all over again I'm gonna be stamping my sentiment and we'll use this W plus 9 stamp set that is called that is all and I really love the font on uh, on this stamp set and I'll be using I just miss your smile and I'm stamping the I just with black ink because I want to have some uh, strong contrast and as I'll be doing some embossing for the other part of the sentiment, I'm just applying a bit of this anti-static powder. I lost the cap <laughs> on my bottle, but I'm just going to use my fingers. And so I have some anti-static fingers also. And this is a pigment ink and it will need a bit of time to dry, otherwise I will uh, emboss this part also trying to center this and I have the powder there and that I'm just gonna try and stem this one more time actually I'm I'm scared <laughs> I'm scared I will just use a 
marker to fill in that area but that's just the powder that uh, picked up onto my stamp I applied too much powder there but that's okay I'm gonna fix that it's no problem do anything you can so you don't throw your card away and the time that you've invested I'm using this clear embossing ink from Simon I really like this embossing ink uh, this one and the Versamark are my favorites I've used other brands also but I I don't like how they stamp and the powder that I'm using is a gold glitter one from WOW and this is metallic gold sparkle my camera doesn't catch all the sparkle but it's so so pretty and as I said I am using a black marker to color the sentiment and be more of an intense black and because I want a bit more of that sparkle, I will add some dots with this Nouveau Clear Drops. I'll be adding some gold sequins as well. Just a couple of these tiny ones. Tiny ones. And I'm using my multimedia mat to appear the sequins. And that finishes my card for today. I hope I give you some inspiration and that you can give this uh, set a try. I wish I would have used it sooner as it was such easy to create this wreath today and it's so easy to, to stamp all these images even, they, even if they look so, so tiny. I thank you all so much for watching and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye bye.